Revolution. Yo, Wagwan, it's that guy. Not locks, not nation. Welcome to the show today. We are doing a little dread review. Um, following commenters' sub suggestions, um, doing one that's kind of out of the box today, and actually makes um, as a very big pioneer in the technology world. I'm looking today at Mr. Jaron Lanier. And he was requested by a fellow named Finis Love um, just 14 hours ago. Um, and the thing is about Jaron Lanier, quick info on the dude. He was born May 3rd, 1960. He's an American computer philosophy writer, computer scientist, visual artist, and composer of contemporary classical music. He's considered a founder of the field of virtual reality. Lanier and Thomas Zimmerman left Atari in 1985 to found VPL Research Incorporated, the first company to sell VR goggles and gloves. Now this dude has been around on Odyssey throughout, booming throughout the late 90s, uh, right into the 2000s eras with the whole internet boom, the dot com boom, and he's actually quite the legend. He's actually quite the legend uh, in terms of helping find virtual reality. Uh, and the thing is, is virtual reality isn't like it's been around 20 years, yes, but it hasn't really taken off yet like other technology has so there's still a lot of room for vr to grow but these day and age you can watch on twitch people streaming vr gameplay and it's literally insane where they're at right now with vr and i'm looking forward to the future when it becomes a standard in everybody's home to have a vr system uh, and especially you know with lockdowns and quarantines happening a lot i think the rise of vr is going to be um really big really soon um, so this dude you know he's 60 years old he's had some freeform locks for quite some time now and they definitely are stand out they definitely are pretty legendary and I'm loving the fact that they definitely are freeformed now how do we know that they're freeform locks I mean it's kind of a telltale sign when you can see the frizzy hair um, the shape of the locks they are kind of flat there's no scarring happening in it and um, you know they, they don't see any parts on the scalp now I'm loving the color of his locks here it looks, like, looks like his hair is brown but it's faded to a more of a blonde over the years and uh, lots of wispy loopy kinks in his hair as well now this dude's locks you know definitely just being very free it makes me want to itch my head as I watch him <laughs> Um, he's kind of got that fro going on at the roots and then the bottom of his locks are actually no frizz at all so a lot of his frizzy hair really really evident just on the top of his head and you know that's what we call embracing the frizz you know, and I'm a big fan of embracing that frizz because if it wasn't for the frizz the dread the dreadfidence it's kind of artificial the, the frizz brings out true dreadfidence and lockfidence within yourself. And we can see the length that dude's got going on here. Now it did say on his bio that he is a contemporary classical music musician. And these is, this is his collection of, I guess, rare instruments. Apparently he's got over 2,000 of them. So I mean, the dude's very smart, very musically inclined as well. And that's the thing with computer sciences, a lot of it does translate into music. Uh, so, I mean, as a dread, I feel like he's definitely doing his part with his creativity side that we are to be in touch with as dreads. I just find that dreads in general, um, it's important to, to be in tune with creativity. Uh, here's an old photo of him when his locks were pretty short. Had a lot more volume to his hair at this point. And this must be his first VR glove and VR goggle release. I remember this kind of release for Nintendo when you got that power glove controller. I don't know if you guys remember that. 
Um, so his logs looking pretty thin. I don't know how they haven't congled up into things, into into locks that are a lot thicker than what they are. It's kind of kind of revolutionary there. Uh, he must have been separating them to some sort of extent. But the length is insane. <clears throat> Happy to see that he's stuck with the length over all these years. You can see how far how far down. They're almost down to his knees at this point, some of them. And I could imagine that some of these have also been trimmed over the years. More of a close-up shot. The VR goggles. When his dreads were much shorter. This probably being his most exceptional length. This is the best valued length of dreadlocks because it's, it's long enough to be lengthy but short enough to still manage quite easily compared to something like this when they're a lot longer they take longer to dry longer to wash you might not be able to wash them as frequently because of that a real a real friendship ought to introduce each person to unexpected weirdness in the other hmm it's a good quote Very interesting dude here. Very revolutionary. And I would say to people, if you are trying to attain locks like this, like you really just got to go for it. You can see here, he's, he's even got a bit of a beard dread happening. But you really just, you really just got to go for it. I think these were his glory days with his locks. These are when they actually looked the best. Um, and... This reminds me of a lot of people here on the Reddit page over on Not Nation that have the type 1, type 2 hair that are freeforming. It goes to show that it does work. You know, it goes to show that it really does work. So definitely big up Jaron Lanier. Appreciate always seeing and learning about new people and their visions that they've brought to society. And I feel like... You know, his visionary has done quite a lot for where we are now, being on YouTube, um, being on the internet every single day. You know, this man really is a revolutionary, and I need to look more into what he's kind of brought to the table over the years. So I will definitely be doing some more research and seeing what his locks and what his mindset uh, is really all about. So definitely appreciate uh, that suggestion for this video and if you guys have any other suggestions just leave a link leave a comment down below I do read all of them and you know I do um, I do enjoy making videos with y'all and uh, one more thing I just want to give a quick shout out to the people that have joined the not nation community members only over on YouTube, uh, which goes out to uh, 904 Lemon and Matthew Guest 74, who are the first two members of the Five On It membership, which only costs five dollars a month. And you do get shout outs in the videos uh, when I do mention uh, the membership. So that's gonna happen every a couple times a month. And um, it also just brings a uh, closer connection with me and the members and I also um, have made eligible different emojis and different badges for commenters to leave in the chat uh, and in the comment section uh, when you are a membership so it kind of gives you a little bit of stand outness from the rest of the chatters um, but anyways I'm gonna end this video here appreciate you guys stopping by and watching every single day this is not locks I'm not nation and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So till then, peace out, one love, so happy to Natty, and grow some dreadlocks. Yeah. The